database manager creating a new blank database after the installation when fusion retail 6 runs for the first time database manager window will open automatically to open fusion retail 6 database manager manually right click on the fusion retail 6 icon on desktop select properties from the list click on open file location button it will open the installation folder here you can find fusion retail.exe.config file delete this file from this folder now double click on fusion retail 6 exe when Fusion Retail 6 starts, it searches the Fusion Retail.exe.config file. If not found, it will open the database manager. Now, look, the database manager got open. Click on Next button to continue the process. Fusion Retail 6 database manager will now search for available database servers in the network. After that, we have to specify appropriate field values. We recommend using default settings. Now, here, we have to provide appropriate field values. Database server. Database server is the name of the computer on which SQL server is installed. By default, installer creates a new instance of SQL server by the name of Rancelab SSE. This instance is accessible by typing server name backslash Rancelab SSE. Where server name is the name of the computer in which SQL server is installed. I am using this computer as my server. The name of my computer is support for, so it is showing the server name as support for backslash Rancelab SSE. Now come to authentication. There are two authentication modes. The default authentication mode is SQL Server. You can use Windows as alternate authentication mode. In Username field, we have to specify the username of SQL Server. The default username is SAA. In User Password field, we have to specify the password of SQL Server. The default password is blank. Let us use the default setting. Click on the next button. Now, the option screen is here. Select, create new database option and click on the next button. OK, it is time to enter the database name. Type the database name, as per your choice. As I am creating a database with the name of, my database. After entering a database name, click on the next button. Now, it is asking for our confirmation to create a new database. Click on the Yes button. Bingo! The database created successfully. Click the OK button to continue. Now, it's time to select a proper station name from the list. As I am going to use this system as my server, I am selecting server as station name. Station name are very important in Fusion Retail 6. Printers and other devices have been mapped in Fusion Retail 6, using station names. Click again on the next button. Click on the finish button to close the database manager. After closing the database manager software will run automatically. Let me enter the username and password to log in, in the software. The default username is AADM and the default password is AADM. The blank database is always of version 1.0000 and the current version is higher than that, so it is showing a message to take a database back up as precautions. But as this is a blank database, we don't have to take any backup. Click on the No button to continue the updation of 0DB. The database is now getting updated. OK, as it is a new blank database and we didn't activate it, software is asking to select a demo edition. After proper activation, at Fusion Retail 6, this option will never pop up. Select any edition from the list, as I am selecting Enterprise Edition and click on the OK button. Finally, 
I am successfully logged in Infusion Retail 6 software. This is all about creating a blank database using the database manager at Fusion Retail 6. For more information on Fusion Retail 6, you can visit www.ransilab.com slash help and www.ransilab.com slash FAQ. Thank you for your time.